You know, my mother said, good things come to those who wait. It said about that in the Bible. Wait on the Lord, be the good carriage. Sometimes it's the best, the best thing to do is wait sometimes. It doesn't matter how. But isn't it something when you wait that God's best, his best, he will give you his best in your waiting. His best, not your best, not, your, not nobody else's best, but God's best. That's why I always tell people, they always say, I always say, well, I know y'all probably always heard this, that the best is yet to come, but the best is still yet to come because God ain't finished yet. God's still doing stuff. He's still doing stuff in this earthly realm. He's still, it doesn't matter what goes on around us. God's still God. He's still God. He's, he, he's, he's, he's awesome. Like, he, my daughter, my daughter has a saying. She said, he's a God just like that. And I always say, you know what? You are so right. When, when every time God does something for us, and she said, you know, he's a God just like that. Even, even today, she was like, Mom, you got to live carefree. And I just looked at her. I was like, huh? She said, just don't worry about nothing. Be like me, carefree. Just give it to God and just go on and live. You know, God has a way of speaking through our children to get to us. He'll have our children prophesy to us. They don't even know what they're saying, but you you know it's God talking to you through them. God's promises. Apostle Everett, Apostle Dave, and whoever else is here on tonight. God's promises. His perfect will in those promises. His perfect will. In those promises. It's a part of our, the plan that he has for our life. You may stray off the course today or tomorrow. But God knows you won't get back on course. You may mess up today or tomorrow. But God knows you're going to get right with him. You may say something you don't got no business saying. But God knows he gonna, you're going to get back with him and you're going to repent. But it does not change the promise that he has for your life. You may get mad with God today or tomorrow. You may go to God and begin to fuss and complain, but God knows you didn't, you didn't really mean it. It doesn't change the promise that he has for your life. You may get frustrated with the people in ministry, but it still does not change the promise that God has for that ministry. Glory to God. You may tell everybody off in the house, but it still does not change the promise that God has for your family. Glory to God. Because his promises are yea and amen. To God be.